What's up guys, Nick here from Air 12 Gaming, back in Forza Motorsport 4 doing some more JDM drifting. And uh, this is the series where I take every single JDM car and put it sideways. Uh, so this time we are building a Nissan S15. Nissan S15, depends where you're from. Uh, there was a fight in the comments last time when I did a Nissan. Uh, it depends where you're from. In America, you say it Nissan, or Nissan. Nissan and if you're in uh, Europe you say Nissan so there you go there's your argument solved uh, there you go your S15 2000 such a cool car Aww. <laughs> it's so cool freaking love the S15 we need them in Canada we got one more year to wait all my Canadians you know what I'm talking about um, <laughs> so let's firstly make this thing look absolutely insane. Uh, let's get a few body kit. Oh, I think we're gonna have to go with that. I've already just fallen in love. Um, or we can go top secret. Top, top secret's also something I would use, but I, I know the back of the, the top secret one, not a big fan of. So, uh, as for a wing, uh, you guys didn't like it, or there were a few people who didn't like it when I put a wing on the last one. I don't know. It's sort of me. I, I, I like the wing. I don't know what it is. Uh, but on this one, we're going to go no wing. Uh, just because we did the one before with a wing. We won't do one this time. Um, whatever. No big deal. Uh, we'll go with the body kit or the rear or the bumper to match the front. And the side, can we match that as well? Yes, we can. Very nice. And hood, let's see what the option is. Oh. Oh. Perfect. All right, that's fine. And uh, let's go conversion. Let's see what the engine we can put in here is the GTR engine. Uh, it's essentially the same, really. Gives us a little bit more torque. It is a 100 pounds heavier, 120 pounds heavier. Um, I think we should go with that, though, because there'll be more room for upgrading, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. So, tires. Let's go street tires as you do, as I always do. Uh, rear, let's throw those thick ones on. And then as for rims, I don't really know what I want this car to look like yet. If I, I don't know if I just want to black it out or... Let's go for those, why not? It's fine. Oh, let's just fix those rim sizes. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's go up to, let's go to 18s. 18s look fairly normal, but still not. Yeah, I don't like my car standing out too much. If you have like 20 inch rims on a S15, cool. You're gonna, first of all, pop tires a lot, uh, break stuff a lot, and um, not gonna be very comfy, <laughs> especially going over bumps. But um, they also look kind of weird. When the rims are too big and they don't match the rest of the car, yeah, look kind of weird if you ask me. All right, let's go race turbo. Let's go race exhaust. Let's also go, let's get the, uh, how do we get the, there we go. The uh, engine leader size up uh, with the race displacement. And let's also go with a race air filter. I, I, want, I want a little bit more. I want, ex I want pretty much 650. Not exactly 650, but I saw, let's go with that. That's quite nice. Uh, that should be good. Let's see that. Perfect. Fine, we're good. This should be quite a nice drift car. I have very high expectations for this thing. Um, I know a lot of people use them online. I, I've i never really been too good at drifting the S15s, but that was also when I wasn't amazing at drifting. I'm still not. Still kind of crap. Very crap. Uh, but I should at least sort of know what I'm doing this time. Uh, so let's go in with no tune and uh, just see what we can do, basically. I want this thing to be, I want this thing to be a maple car. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna build this car specifically for maple. So if we're gonna build it specifically for maple, I want more power. Um, let's just throw that on. Uh, because that first corner, that is hard to get around uh, if you don't have a lot of power. This is gonna be full setup just for maple. Well, you use it on other tracks, but I'm gonna try and design it best for Maple. Uh, you guys can see what I do when I'm designing a car basically just for one track. All right, 
So, um, we should actually, we should just throw a quick tune. Uh, fix those, because those I know I won't touch again. Uh, those gears. We don't need to be going 200 in, uh, in our S15. Alright, so I think I'm going to go, I think we should go full drift missile, drift missile setup. Get this thing completely sideways. Let's let's bring this thing all the way up. Full drift missile setup. We going on this. I'm not very good at drifting them, but um, I'm I'm sure some of you guys are. Some of you guys are definitely better drivers than me. And uh, if you are one of those better drivers, try this tune out. I don't know if it will work for me. Uh, that exact tune. Might need some fine tuning, but um, that thing should be a sideways monster. Oh, it's slippery. I've never been too great at drifting drift missiles, but there you go. It just wants, oh shit. <laughs> it wants to go sideways so bad. It, it doesn't go in a straight line. Look at that, 10,000 and I screwed up the first corner. Oh, no, and I'm driven off the track. <laughs> All right, maybe that extra power wasn't really necessary, but you can take that off if, if you wanted to. I'm not going to, because I'm lazy, uh, but say if I wanted a full competition car. Uh, I've already broken every rule by having more than 650 horsepower, but whatever. Um, okay, calm down. Get it in fourth and just get as much angle as possible. Uh, for a drift competition, wouldn't recommend my drift missile too. Maybe, actually, yeah, because it gets quite a bit of angle, so you could. Uh, maybe stay away from tandems then. Well, then you sort of, uh, it's a, it's a points car. It's a points car. We'll say that. You could do battles with it because it can get huge angle if you're, if you're in front. But uh, following with one of these things is quite tricky. I don't know if it's just me, but I cannot follow someone with a tune like this. I need something stable that won't twitch around on me all the time. Which this does quite a bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, too much speed. Too much speed. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Cool, okay. I love this car. Love this car so much. Even on essentially a pretty crappy lap, I'm gonna finish with 48, 47, 47, eight. Nice. That's rather good. Now there is some fine tuning I can do. Obviously I would take down that extra power, but that is a beast setup. Um, how can we get rid of the twitchiness with the, with the, uh, spring, uh, stiffness and softness? I'm not exactly sure. I'll ask you guys, if you guys know a way to get rid of, uh, twitchiness, uh, please let me know in the comments down below, because that'd be something that's quite important. Uh, as you guys saw, it's a little bit twitchy, but I'm just gonna, I like that tune. I like that tune. Drift Missile. Wants to go sideways pretty much all the time. Uh, maybe there's better cars for, for drift missile setups, but this thing, you cannot go wrong with an S15. There is no way. It's just, oh. <laughs> what are we gonna get out of there? 12, 13, wow. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Can I get 60,000? Can I break my record for most points on this lap? I don't know. That'd be, would it count? No, it wouldn't even count because I'm in test drive. Shit. That's not gonna happen now. Or we're gonna finish anyways, give you guys some more to watch uh, if you want. I love this car so much. Uh, try this setup out. 
uh, definitely, definitely do it. Uh, post a video response if you do. Uh, I want to know what you guys think of this tune. Uh, it's definitely a harder car to drift with this setup on it. Uh, there are some more basic tunes you can put on it. But, ah, uh, this is, this is full points. As if you, if you can drift one of these with this setup, you're good. You're damn good. Um, you're, this this could be tech, a, a potential leaderboard car uh, with this type of setup on it. Uh, if you give it if you give it to a right driver, definitely. Uh, so I want to see those video responses from you guys trying this exact setup. Um, post them down below, and uh, I'll definitely check them out. Cause uh, I, I love this car. I love this car. Try the setup out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, this car is so good. Wow, look at this. Look at out. Oh, can't speak. Look at that crash. Whenever I say something nice about a car, I manage to screw it up, of course. All right, what are we gonna finish with? We can get two on this last corner. I know we can get more, but. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so. That is the S15 Drift Missile. Insane car, absolutely insane car. Try this setup out, uh, you will love it. If you're, an, if you're a more advanced driver, uh, try this out. There are some more basic tunes. Maybe I'll do a basic tune next time um, for some of you guys learning to drift. Uh, but yeah, that's that, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave, some car leave some cars in the comments down below you wanna see me drift. Uh, some JDM cars would be very nice. And uh, yeah, that's that, guys. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below for more car or for, for more videos like this in your subscription box. I cannot speak today. I've screwed up my outro, and I'll see you in the next one.